this is Allison Waken with Studio Calico and today I wanted to show you or walk you through how I made this layout using the Bluegrass Farm scrapbook kit. Um, for this layout I only use the main scrapbook kit um, as well as some digital items like this cut file that is in the digital shop and I wanted to use the cut file as a mask. I wanted a light kind of misting on the background to keep it from being so stark. The thing I love most about the Studio Caligo kits is that you can combine the different colors and patterns to really kind of fit whatever theme you're going for. Obviously the Bluegrass Farm kit was not intended to be used as like a snowy snowflake sort of layout, but uh, I really love the colors, the yellows, the blues, and the reds and wanted to use that with this photo that I took this weekend of me taking a selfie with Anna and Elsa from the movie Frozen. So just kind of playing with the different patterns of papers and colors in the kits, I can pull together a layout that fits with this photo, even though the kit isn't necessarily intended to be a winter-themed type of kit. I love using pops of the red and the yellows with this kit. I think that they complement the browns really nicely and um, I had fun playing with those. The great part about the a wood grain pattern paper is you can use it in any direction, so try not to um, get stuck on the right way to use the paper. As you can see here, I turned mine sideways because I like the wood grain going up and down um, since I'm using kind of a wider shape at the bottom of this layout. You'll notice that I play with the position of papers a lot, and I think I've said that in another video before. I love layers, and I love mixing the layers together, but sometimes it takes a little bit of just playing with them and moving them around. Here I've pulled in some of the little items from the printables. I love using the printables in the digital section of the Studio Calico shop. They're a great way to add little embellishments that may not have come with your kit already, but the great part about it is that you can print as many as you want. So if you need more of this awesome moment circle or the, I love those little number arrows, you can print as many as you want or use them digitally if you know how to extract them in Photoshop. So here I am just now um, kind of finalizing the layout with some staples and I like doing it this way first uh, because it allows me to add, slip in um, or add some layers as I'm going along. Using um, the adhesive like this, I can't as easily slip uh, new layers or embellishments inside, and I love to add things on at the end. So here you can see, even though my layers are adhered, since they are not all glued down, I can slip all of these in without worrying about moving the other layers and, and getting them in the wrong position. If I'm going to add stitching, with I thought, which I thought about with this arrow, I would do it before I actually adhered the whole piece to um, the main page. It makes it easier to maneuver through the sewing machine. Uh, but since I didn't do that, I went ahead and stuck it down and just kind of moved my stapler in there. So this wood piece is a great example of uh, why it, I like to use staples. It leaves room for me to slip that in there. I wasn't planning on using it, but I really wanted to include it in this layout. This is another example of I could have stitched these letters on, which I thought about as well, but I really liked kind of the um, feel of the staples, so I went ahead and went with the staples for the title. You will often see me start with the end of a word. A lot of times I, I know I want the word to end, but since I don't exactly know where it's going to begin, I'll start with the last letter of the word instead of the first letter so that I know where the word ends. Just adding some of the stars from those metal tabs and a little triangle in the corner completes my layout.
Be sure to visit studiocalico.com for more inspiration.